Your set's equipped with EasyMate magnetically operated knuckle couplers. These allow you to perform real switching and yard operations. In this section, we'll go over the basics of EasyMate operation so you can become a real railroad yard master. As you have seen, coupling two cars with EasyMate couplers is simply a matter of pushing them together when they are not over the undertrack magnet. And, as is standard with all magnetically operated knuckle couplers, uncoupling occurs only when couplers are positioned over the undertrack magnet and when there's no tension between them. Watch how the couplers move when they are over the undertrack magnet. Also note the couplers pulled over a magnet with constant tension between them will not uncouple. To uncouple EasyMate couplers, stop two couplers directly over the undertrack magnet. With no tension between the cars, the couplers will open automatically. If you wish to drop the uncoupled cars where they are, simply move the locomotive forward, leaving the uncoupled cars behind. If you wish to push the uncoupled cars to another location on your railroad, make sure the couplers are set in the open position over the magnet. With your couplers set in the open position, you can push the dropped cars to any location beyond the undertrack magnet. After you have pushed the cars to their desired location, simply pull the locomotive forward. The dropped cars will remain in place and the couplers will return to their normal closed position. With a little practice, you can give the dropped cars a bit of a kick to push them to their desired location. This is especially fun when you've expanded your railroad with switches and track sidings. In any case, to recouple any two cars, gently push them together again. If cars will not couple, check to be sure they are not positioned over the uncoupling magnet or parked on a curve. If cars will not uncouple, check to be sure the couplers are positioned directly adjacent to the magnet position indicator and that the indicator is placed in line with the center line of the undertrack magnet. Also check to be sure the magnet is securely attached to the underside of the track and fitted with the steel plate provided. Here is an action checklist for you to follow if your train fails to operate or stops running. Make sure the power supply is plugged into a live receptacle. Make sure all locomotives and car wheels are on the track. Check to make sure all wiring is secure. Check to make sure the track is properly assembled. And if your train hits a bump or derails anywhere along the track, that section of track may not be properly seated in the rail joiner. Check once again to make sure all track is properly installed. If your train stops or fails to start, a short circuit may be indicated. If this is the case, unplug the power supply immediately. There are several common causes for short circuits that are easily corrected. Derailed wheels may cause a short, so check to make sure all wheels are on the track. Also check all connections and be sure that no metal of any sort is across the rails, including metal-coated holiday tinsel, ornament hooks, or tools. After checking everything carefully, resume operation. Please note that your power supply is protected by a circuit breaker that automatically resets after a short circuit is corrected. You should allow up to five minutes for the circuit breaker to reset before resuming operation. For safety reasons, never leave your train running unattended. And when you are not operating your train for short periods of time, you should always turn the speed control dial to zero. If you will not be operating your train for longer periods of time, be sure to unplug the power supply as well. Your Bachmann train is a precision-engineered scale model, and like any fine piece of equipment, it'll operate better after a couple of hours of break-in time. Your train will also perform best under clean operating conditions. Clean track and clean wheels ensure good electrical contact. After about every eight hours of operation, wipe the track rails and exposed portions of your locomotive's wheels with a soft, lint-free cloth. The removal of a black residue is normal. Do not use steel wool to clean your track, since its metal fibers will damage your locomotive. If your track should become very dirty and dull looking, 
Clean it with one of the recommended track cleaners available at your local hobby retailer. Common solvents are not recommended since they may damage plastics. After cleaning, be sure your track is free from lint, fiber, and loose materials which may be drawn into the motor. Care must be taken to maintain your train. After every 24 hours of operation, light lubrication is required to keep it in top operating condition. Lubricants must be used under adult supervision. You must use a plastic-compatible, hobby-quality lubricant. For best results, we highly recommend Bachmann's Easy Lube brand of professional lubricants. It's important to choose the appropriate lubricant for each job. Easy Lube is available as light gear oil, heavy gear oil, grease, and conductive contact lube. If you're in doubt as to which lubricant to use, visit or call your local hobby retailer for assistance. When applying lubrication, restraint is the key to a lifetime of enjoyment. Too much lubrication will actually damage your locomotive, so use a light touch. Lubricating the 260 loco that came in your set is a series of simple procedures. Remember to handle your locomotive carefully so as not to damage the many details on the boiler and cab superstructure. First, turn your locomotive over and apply a tiny drop of heavy gear oil to both sides of each driver axle where it exits the locomotive frame. Now apply a small drop of conductive contact lubricant to the back of each drive wheel. Next, apply a small drop of conductive contact lube to the tread of each driver. Finally, turn the locomotive back over and put a small drop of light gear oil on all of the valve gear bearing surfaces. Don't forget to do both sides. That's it, you're all done. Now the fun begins. With proper setup and regular maintenance, you'll enjoy your Bachman train for years to come. To help expand your ON30 railroad empire, Bachman's Standard Line and Spectrum Line offer a complete selection of separate sail motive power, freight and passenger cars, buildings, track, and accessories. If you want more information on ON30 scale model railroading, check the following resources and be sure to visit www.bachmantrains.com regularly to see what's new in Bachman's world of model railroading. Thanks again for choosing a Bachman electric train. All aboard! <laughs>